be live. Make sure. Green over here. My microphone. Oh yeah, I wanted to change something on my microphone and the razor settings. Where's from razor? My microphone working. Wait, let me check. Give me a second. <coughs> uh, where's the drivers? Yeah, there we go. Synapsis. Uh, there's this cool beta or mixer. It's cool and um, where you create your textures and PBR materials in real time. Um, I'm just going to make sure my microphone's nice and set up. I just check the microphone. Get rid of that. That should be better, hopefully. Shouldn't cut out. Um, so, uh, microphone volume. I can make this louder as well. There we go. Okay. So this software allows you to create like these tileable um pbr materials uh let's take a look at the video i thought that was quite cool that you can it's a bit like substance but it's a lot easier and you got a lot more resource assets um with the whole mega scan library um you can subscribe to them up um so I've, I've already tried this and tested it um and i thought it was pretty cool so right, i've got the mud in so this is the scene here i'm just using a different hdr but if you take a look it allows you to like tweak settings like you could choose how much um, each material is like procedural kind of but they've got this whole library where you can go online get different um, assets or different textures materials and you can use them and then you can export that out so when you export it it will give you all the like um, bump gloss displacement that you can just blink in. I thought it was just worth pointing out and make a little short video of this. Um, that you can apply it to. And you can see even here the roughness is working. Just saying, pretty cool. If I go here, look at that reflection, right? it's all sharp. If I go here to roughness, no, it's not as sharp. And now we can't see the It's not, it's not, um, as glossy just nice i really like this it's quite a nice tool um i can apply this to sphere or something there we go oh we've got the polar at the top but we could either fix that or we can just do this there we go it's cool so you can see actually here's a good example here so we can see the roughness affecting it and stuff. So I can decrease that and increase that. Um, of course, you can change the displacement. Um, you'd have to increase the poly count on on the geometry. Of course, yeah. it's more detail. Um, the more polys you got in there with displacement, but like it's pretty cool. Cool. Um, software where you can make procedural stuff and procedural text materials and you know bring them in so you can see. yeah it's really up to you you can make like nice planets or whatever you want um see what it looks like so this way it looks like without the skybox Back to back on. Of course, we can drop the light, you can see how it's affecting it. Maybe we just, we'll just mess around, just get some point light.
So I'm going to make the orange. Like that. It's really cool. I like this software. Um, I think I can probably export another one. Uh, probably this one. Let me go to maybe they have example. Where is it? Open? Yeah. Uh, let's get this one. See if it loads. This is still in beta as well. So if you download it now, it's free in beta. <clears throat> you just sign up, download it. Um, currently in beta, but you can see the stuff they do is pretty cool. Um, these materials, yeah, this, all these panels and crazy. Um, I think I've got like 300 credits or something like this currently. Hello, my name is Victor. Uh, they have really good tutorials. Um, showing you how to do it. It's really easy to pick up. Um, definitely worth checking out. Oh, I'm running out of storage space because I started Adobe, downloading Adobe packages to update. <sighs> I have to install on the other drive. Okay. You know, hopefully it's useful. Um, oh, it did load. As you can see we've got this kind of concrete example here. Maybe I want to change some of these settings before I export it or something. Let's see, what's this one? This one? I like that. Yeah, Even <coughs> change this color to like bright orange or something. Really nice, and then you all you do is say um, export to library. Let's put in the categories. Uh, the new category uh, orange. I'm just gonna call this orange rules. Okay. You can choose your roughness map. I think by default it exports the diffuse and the normal displacement automatically for you. Uh, you can go up to like 8k if you want. It's crazy, but just in 20, what was it? 2048. I'm just gonna hit save, and that would export to my project folder. So what I could do is just go in here. Oh, I think I accidentally messed up my layout. That's fine. Um, let's just replace some of these materials. So the base, if we go back out, back out. Eh, where's it gone? Uh, where did I save it then? Project? Let's see, date modified. Where did I save this? I thought it would save to the same directory. Export to library. Eh. Oh, it's, cool. it's in damage paint concrete. Okay. So if I go to damage paint concrete. Uh, I think it's saved. it's saved under this samples one. Where is it? I'm making a video, man. I'm doing a tutorial. Uh, I'm doing tutorial. I think, which one is it, though? Let's see. Is it not this one? I have no idea where I, I should have checked properly where it's saving. Let's go back. In a second, so it says export create subfolder. I want to use these JPEGs. Let's 
Can I change the location? Let's just make a new folder here. Select. Uh, quick export. Let's see if it goes into there. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, a new folder. Here we go. So just load in the color. And then displacement. And then what's this? It's the roughness. And we've got a specular. And then we've got the normal. And what else did they have? They, I think they even gave us an ambient occlusion. Uh, you could probably just change it the base and then blend it if you wanted with the ambient occlusion. Do like a blend or something. I don't know. You can see it there and by increase the percentage <clears throat> but you see how quick how, easy, how quick it works um it's really nice really nice tool definitely get the beta now and i think they, they're doing as well an offer if you buy it in beta phase, you can get it for like $99. So it's quite cheap compared to when it goes full price. And then you, you when, so you buy it now in beta, it's like pre-ordering basically. Um, and then you get, let's try a, a rectangle. Actually, put in a cube. cube. So you can pre-order now, you know. You get that free version. Yeah, it's really cool. And the details are really nice. Um, probably the settings are all different with the roughness. You can see there, just changing it. Specular. You can play around with all of the settings. It's nice, really nice. Heavens on it. It's too orange, but hey, I like this sort of thing. You see it has effects in that bottom bit there. Don't know how easy it's to see, but it actually works. But definitely worth checking out. Some cool little tool. Let end the stream in there. I'll leave the description to the link below. I don't know why I've crashed it, but yeah, I'll leave a description to this software below, which is Quixum website. It says right here at the top, Mixer is free now for the duration of the beta. Get it now. And I believe it's $99 if you want to buy it at this point. It's on sale. Is it pricing? No. So they have like um, different ones, but I believe you can buy that separate for like ninety nine or something like this. Uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Hopefully, it's a useful tool that might be might come in handy. Um, let's minimize that. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your evening.